All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. This is Joe Covell with Custom Benefit Plans. I am the brokerage manager, product specialist for the under 65 health insurance market. So the purpose of this video today is to just kind of give you the consumer experience for both uh, penny.com and also getcovered.nj.gov because we're getting a lot of questions. So this is going to be the consumer experience. There will be no actual data here other than some stuff of my own. So don't worry, there's no HIPAA or anything to con be concerned about. So just wanted to do this and then I'm going to do another one after this going over the brokerage account. So I'm going to share my screen here. All right. So let's start by going to enroll dot penny dot com slash H I X. Just a quick, easy way to get there. So if you want to browse for plans, this is where you would browse for plans here to get an idea. So just put in a income, see if you qualify for savings. Skip all this stuff and you shop as you would anywhere else. So let's just go back and just go right into setting up an account. So back to that page again, at the bottom here, skip and sign up. So we're just going to use uh, Use the office phone number here. Use my birth date. No, I don't want to use my real birth date. There you have it. We'll use the uh, office. Okay. All right. So, how do you get attached to your client, or how does your client attach you? So, if they're in there, so there's a few different ways to do that, right? For brokers. One is if they've already come from healthcare.gov and you're attached already, that will be in your broker portal. I'll show that in a separate section. Um, if they haven't done anything at all, they would do this or from your brokerage account, you can also do everything for them with their permission. Um, and the third is if they already have an account and maybe you got dropped as the agent or you weren't the agent before, um, same from the client aspect, if they wish to switch the agents, they're not so happy with the service, they're able to do so. Um, so very easy to do. So find local assistance, find a Pennsylvania certified agent or broker near you. For this, we'll just type in my last name here. So there I pop up. If you don't pop up here, agents, often we notice the cases that you might have an agency account and you need to set up an agent account. So you can call the Penny Helpline, 844-844-844. Um, Eight zero four zero. That's the, the the main number for Penny. I'm not going to give out the broker line on this. Um, and then you know, I asked to talk to broker services. Say you need to switch to an agent account. That will help you big time, and it also helps you show up here. So let's click my name. If I hear it, click select agent. Start over. I went too fast. You could search by zip code too if you like. So here's all my information as an agent. Yes, I am an agent too. Select agent. Give authority. And you're in. 
So from your agent account, you will get an approval to approve that client. And then after that, everything you do together will be shown. Um, so I don't really want to get too involved here simply because, as you can see, my enrollments. So you can start a new application, get started, contact information. I don't know if it's going to let us go because there's some verification stuff. All right, so here I just don't have a, I don't have a verifiable identity. Um, but so this is good to see too. When they're in their account, it says your agent. See that it has my name here. They can de designate this agent first. So if they have an agent already, brokers, and you're trying to be their their agent, or if uh, you know, again, you're a consumer here, and you're not really loving what your broker's doing for you, it's as easy as just the designating there and then reselecting. So as brokers, this is how we are paid. Um, and it's a little easier than healthcare.gov is in the past because now we don't actually have to put our information in the account itself. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get into an actual account without having some form of verifiable information. So I don't really want to do that from a HIPAA standpoint or anything like that. But Needless to say, the application is pretty long, same as healthcare.gov. The section that asks if you're working for anybody or if somebody's, if you're as a consumer, that does not mean for an agent. So in the past, we had to do that, healthcare.gov, we had to put our NPN in there, and we still do for states that still use healthcare.gov, closest to us being Delaware, uh, Ohio, you know, and, and Florida, Texas. Most, most of the country is still using healthcare.gov. That does require someone helping you and you know an npn number in there my npn would be um just for example one six one six six two three eight two five so the consumer in healthcare.gov in the past or in those other states would put agent broker joseph covell one six six two three eight two five and then that's how we've gotten credited so this is a little bit better of a system um than what we had to deal with with healthcare.gov so we're going to get out of here because I think that's all we're going to really be able to do here. And then we're going to switch over to New Jersey. So we go to enroll.getcovered.nj.gov slash HIX. And you're going to notice that it is exactly the same as what you just saw. Because get, get covered is, uh, or get insured dot com is the vendor for both and, and some other states as well. So really... Although the actual site itself looks kind of confusing and really takes you a long time to get to where you want to get to, same with Penny, they look different, but the back end is the same. So enroll.getcovered.nj.gov will take you to Jersey and enroll.penny.com slash HIX for both will get you to Penny. So let's just same thing again here. So we're going to, um, and then again, if you want to shop, you'll notice the same mechanism. So very similar. There's no way to really send a quote. The best advice I can say for both systems is if you could compare three plans, compare up here, and then I would just print it and then, you know, save as a PDF and then save that and send that to the client. But before you do that little word of advice, open up all of these tabs here. So just to be clear again, Health Sherpa, quote it. Every other web vendor does not function in most state exchanges. In fact, I really don't think of any that do. Maybe California for a couple. But the tools are completely off the table, and I wouldn't hold our breath, agents. It's not coming anytime soon. Maryland has had a state exchange since the beginning. So has Colorado, well, most of the time, and California. And there's still no software that's operating. So waiting for Health Sherpa to come around is just not going to happen anytime soon. Quote it still. Quote it can, you know, on our website, custombenefitplans.com. We're going through some cha changes, but 
we will have the quoted tool. You'll be able to see prices without a subsidy. You know, that's good if you make over $50,000 or so for a single, but you won't be able to see the tax credit. But the plans, you know, will still have some operation to it. So you can at least get an idea of what's in the area for PA in Jersey, you know, based on zip code. Um, just realize that it's not, um, you know, it's not going to be the correct um, data based on your income with subsidies. So we'll just show you just how to start application. Ours is just a little bit different. So test account again. By the way, this email really doesn't go anywhere. This is just something I made up for the purposes of this. And I should say, you might want to read the policy privacy statements. It doesn't hurt to do that as well. So you know what you're signing up for. If big tech has taught us anything in this last couple of years, it's that that is precious. And uh, it's always good to know what you're signing, right? So I mean, everything here is pretty straightforward, like you would find on healthcare.gov. I would not fear these pages in any way whatsoever. Um, they're very secure. Oh, we're probably going to have to use a Jersey. So I don't have a Jersey database, but so same thing again here. Find local assistance, find broker near you, search by last name, or if you, you know, want to see somebody near you, and select agent again. And again, test account. Confirm. So that's basically it. And again, you'll notice uh, start new application. Here's your agent. In this case, it's me. Can deselect there. Pick somebody else. They do. They usually, or consumers, you usually have to deselect your old agent if you no longer want to work with your current agent. Um, but remember, to consumers, you know we're here to help you. We know it's kind of crazy this time of year. I always try to reach out to your agent. I recommend text messaging or or, or um, email as well. Like we get most agents that are active in this industry get tons and tons of calls, and we do try to get to every single one. But it, you know, you have a few short weeks now. Luckily, this year we have till the fifteenth of January in Pennsylvania, and we have till the thirty first of January in New Jersey. So we got a little bit more extra time, but it, there's just a lot to get done in a short amount of time, especially with Medicare and your agents are there to help you. Um, I know any agent that works with custom benefit plans, I, I, I stand behind every single one of them. Our agents are, are unparalleled to anybody else in the industry. And if you'd like to become an agent for us, it's a little late right now for open enrollment, but you know, we're always, we're always looking to uh, help people out and get them running whenever possible. Um, so yeah, that, that's basically it for the consumer experience. And uh, I'm gonna jump on in a couple minutes to go over the agent side of it. So thanks for tuning in and uh, let us know how we can help you. This time of year, the best way to get a hold of me and most of the people in the office, it would be by email because um, we do get a lot of questions from agents too. So feel free to email jcovell, C-O-V-E-L-L -L, at custom benefit plans.com. There's no S on benefit. 
there's an S on plan. So Jay Covell at custombenefitplans.com. If you have any questions, both consumers um, and, and agents, we're here to help you and uh, take care. Have a good afternoon.